So give Central Senator Natasha Akoti ignites hope. He met 800 solar-powered streetlights in Kogi Central. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Today we've got some fantastic news to share about the incredible work happening in Kogi Central. Brace yourself for this exciting update. Senator Natasha Akoti Idwaga just did something amazing in Kogi State. She recently erected 800 solar powered streetlights, making a positive impact in the area. Just to give you a quick rundown, Natasha Akoti Dwaga was officially sworn in as a senator for Kogi Central, Senatorial District on November 11, 2023. This came after she was declared the rightful winner of the February election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and subsequently confirmed that the Court of Appeal in Abuja, a journey to the Senate was not without challenges. Abubakar O'Hare, the former APC senator, contested the election result, but the Court of Appeal dismissed it as his appeal, upholding Akoti Iduaga as the duly elected candidate. The swearing-in ceremony took place in the Senate, making Akoti Iduaga the first female senator from Kogi State. Natasha Akpoti Uduaha. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll be faithful. That I will be faithful. And be a true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And be a true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In a surprising revelation on Arise TV, Akpoti Uduaga disclosed that Kogi State Governor Yahaya Belo attempted to persuade her to step down from the race. Allegedly, Belo initially offered her 50 million to withdraw in favor of its preferred candidate. Undeterred by her refusal, Belo reportedly increased the offer to 70 million in a subsequent attempt. However, Akboti Idwaga remained resolute, refused the bribe, stood firm in her commitment to the election. He offered me money as well. He offered me 50 million at first. I turned down. He said, how about 70 million to you step down for my anointed candidate who was the then... Uh... And now guess what? Senator Natasha Akoti Dwaga has, has wasted no time in making a positive impact. In just six weeks, since being sworn in as a senator for Kogi Central, she has commissioned a significant project 800 solar power street lights across the senatorial district. She's not just talking the talk, she's walking the walk and doing the do. During the commissioning in Adavi, Okene, and Okei in local government areas, Senator Apoti Zwaga assured her constituencies of good representation and emphasized her commitment to the delivering on campaign pro promises. She highlighted the importance of bringing the best of democracy and governance to the people. Boy, she's delivering. In, um, I was uh, short of participating in the supplementary budget, but I was able to quickly get a few projects into. The Senator expressed joy in fulfilling one of our campaign promises and shared the significance of street life in improving the lives of the community. She mentioned that the project funded by the federal government was just the beginning as more street lights will be installed in the coming months. Week. Barely one week to install 800. The last I counted was week we had installed 800 street lights. Senator Akoti Idwaga also pledged to initiate various projects, including primary health care centers, primary schools, water projects, and more. Promising monthly project commissions, she emphasized positive impact of well-lit streets on commercial activities, enabling markets to remain open late and children to study under the street lights. But here is the coolest part. These street lights are not just any lights. They run on solar power. That's like getting electricity from the sun. Super cool and eco-friendly, right? And it means this victory today is a testament uh, and I hope to prove myself um, to Nigerians that women can lead and we do have intelligent, capable people. Yeah. And to me, it's just an opportunity to bring leadership closer to the people. Yeah. It's not just about the light. She's also opened up offices in five local government areas. That's right. She's all about being accessible to our people. No wonder everyone is cheering for her. 
The community is buzzing with excitement. The markets are staying open late. Kids are eating the books under the streetlights. Our people are genuinely happy. The senator is turning promises into reality, and the people of Kogi Central couldn't be happier. So while some politicians are busy with bridges that only allow one car, Senator Aposi Idwaga is making sure our people have light to brighten up their lives. And we want more politicians like her for all states. Kudos to her for making things happen and proving that positive change possible if you enjoyed this video kindly give it a thumbs up share your thoughts in the comment section if you haven't subscribed we would appreciate you if you click the subscribe button and activate the notification bell for upcoming content thank you for watching and we are having fun with you on our next video bye